another really exciting area for neurofeedback is sports, sports performance, uh, sports focus. Really interesting area. Uh, neurofeedback has long been used at the elite levels of athletics, Olymp Olympiads, and uh, world-class teams such as the 2006 Italian World Cup winners use neurofeedback in Italy to win their, uh, their uh, game. And uh, over half of the gold medal winners in the Sochi Olympics uh, use neurofeedback in their training. Super effective. Now it's coming into more uh, uh, common use. Amateurs are using um, neurofeedback to improve their focus. Here's an example of a, of a golfer learning neurofeedback and the brain map showing the progression of his brain as he masters the neurofeedback skills to enable uh, a sharper focus. So here we have a very active brain, lots of red color, slowly becoming blue, a much calmer, more focused brain that uh, allows the, the golfer just before he or she hits the shot to really be right in the zone, right in, the, in comfort level, right in the moment, and uh, control the body and the swing and the mechanics uh, much better because of this very calm and focused brain. Great example, Alan Alda, the actor, who'd never played golf before, learned how to play golf with the aid of neurofeedback uh, before he went to practice his new skill on the putting green. He was able to calm his brain into this, into this zone of, of you know, calm and focus. And on the putting green, first time he beat a pro at putting. Uh, because he was able to, to really let go of, of worry, of tension, of, of pressure, of stress, and, and really feel the shot and be right in the moment with it. I have a special uh, golf, golfer's program where I have an app uh, where golfers can practice at home, even on the course if they want, to learn to control and calm the brain and get that, that focus that's so critical to making the shot.